into the holiday spirit. If I found a couple of blank canvases in the form of rugs at Ikea, and you are going to absolutely love this project because it's so super simple to do, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. First of all, these are the rugs that I'm talking about. They are half moon rugs, and they come in a variety of colors, and you can get them, like I said, at Ikea. They, um, they're, they're not necessarily seasonal either, but the colors might be. So I just loved all the different variety of colors. So I picked up a whole bunch of them, and I decided that I was going to paint one for each holiday. Holiday. So I started with Halloween. Look at this. How super cute is that? And here's all I did is I took some acrylic paint like this. I like this type of acrylic paint because it's really thick and heavy. And all I did was dip my paintbrush in the white paint and I went like this. Just like that. And I and I just kind of spelled out boo. You can spell out whatever you want. But here's my tip because I always love showing you what not to do. When I got so excited to sit down and do this project, I forgot that this part is the part that goes against the door. So my first one ended like ended up like this. I painted it backwards. Oh well. Good thing I had two, and good thing they're inexpensive. But I figured, you know what? They are half moon, so I could put them together and be scared coming or going. All right, anyway, that's my take on that one. All right, this one I love. Look at how cute this is. Perfect for Christmas. Um, I'm going to show you actually how to make this one, but let me show you this one real quick, too. Love this, too. I just simple freehand. Took some different colors of paint and just kind of drew out a little pumpkin here. Let it dry. You can walk on it. This paint is not going anywhere. It's acrylic paint, and it's washable. So if you decide you want to hose it down or throw it in the washer, I'm actually not 100% sure these are. Uh, you can put them in the washing machine, but you can certainly hose them down because they're by your front door. This paint won't go anywhere. But this one right here is a little bit different. And all you need for this one are some um, permanent markers. So I happen to have a plethora of them here. And all I did was take, I took the black and I just created a string of lights. And you see how this is kind of a sharp little Sharpie? Well, I use the side of it because it makes for a wider, a wider string. And I just kind of went like this and pretended like, like this was a rogue string of lights, just like this. And you cannot make a mistake on this, you guys. It's really, really simple. And if you do, just cover it up with some paint. Nobody will ever know. Then if you, I did the string all the way around. And then what you have to do is you have to create the part, you know, the little bulb. This is like a string of lights. And so I just went through and I, I kind of measured it. You know, I did like maybe every three, three fingers and I, oh, I did that one the same way. But I tried to, to alternate some going some way, some going the other way, just like this. Again, using a marker, just go like that. And then I took some acrylic paint in different colors, trying to think of, you know, what color would the light bulbs be and just painted the little light bulb. Now you're going to find that when you paint on this piece of carpet here, it's going to absorb rather quickly. So you might want to do like, you know, two coats of paint on it and then just let it dry and it will come out bright and gorgeous. And when you set it up in front of your front door, like that. Look how cute that is. And you can even customize it. So this is also a great gift idea. So if you want to write somebody's last name on it or welcome or happy holidays or whatever, you can totally, totally do that. All right, if you love this project and you know what, maybe you want to share with me, I want you to do that. Go to my Facebook page, like it, show me what you're creating for the holidays. And of course, if you want to find these rugs, you can go to Ikea. Let me give you the information for Ikea. They're at I-10 and Warner. Ikea.com is their website. You can sign up for the free Ikea family card, and that way you will receive special discounts either through the mail or via email, and you'll get things that are already cheap, even cheaper.